What's happening, Panda Nation and Home Improvement Pandas? Peter Bond Panda here. Hey, I want to show you something that I haven't shown yet. I probably should have done this a long time ago, but I installed this basement watchdog uh, backup sump pump unit. So, you know, I was doing a little work with my sump pump, and I've got a main pump here, and you can probably see it. It's the one that's kind of the deepest here. But you know, might notice that this there's a second pipe, and that's because if the first pump goes down, you know, you have bad weather or, you know, it fails or a power outage or something like that, the second pump will take over. Now there's this float on the second pump that is actually higher than the first one. So basically the water level is always going to be managed by that first pump. But if it goes down and the water rises to the second float, this other pump will kick on. Now, what you'll notice here too, is that the cord, the power cord for the first pump goes into the wall. But you'll see the second cord that kind of comes out of it actually runs to the backup sump pump. So it'll run off power. And that's basically if the pump goes bad, the second pump will, will run. So if the first pump just plain breaks, the second pump will kick on and run off of AC power. Now, if you have a power outage, which is very common, say, in a storm or something like that, and you have no power, the first pump isn't gonna work. It's not the pump is bad, this just has no power. And so what you'll also notice is that there is this wire that runs off of that second sump pump, goes all the way up here, and that's where the basement watchdog computer control unit comes into play. Because right next to it, I have kind of a big old school battery. And this, you know, it's kind of like a giant car battery, basically. And that will run, the computer control unit will switch over to the backup battery and keep that second pump running. Now, this is not the latest version of the basement watchdog. In fact, I think the newest ones will also have a Wi-Fi unit so you can have an app and control it through there as well as monitor it. I have actually never really tested this. I've never needed to, but I thought, why don't we just unplug the primary sump pump and see what happens. Hopefully we'll maybe get an alarm. But then secondly, I'll let the pump fill up. And the nice thing is we've got water coming into the sump pit there. And so eventually it'll hit that second uh, float and hopefully the whole backup system will pump the water out. So let's give it a shot here. So I'm just gonna go over here to the plug and I'm just gonna unplug it, see what happens. All right, the plug is out. And so that first pump should no longer run. Now it's gonna maybe take a little while for it to get up to the float on the second pump. So I'll just wait and then I'll record that and see what this whole thing does. All right, so the water level is rising as you might be able to see here. And you can see this float right there and the water is just starting to move it. So it's probably gonna be a little while yet before that float rises high enough to trigger the sump, the backup sump but it should go off here pretty soon. Now I will say that uh, the cool thing here is it also shows you how long the battery will power the backup sump. In this case, it says about five hours and that's pretty good. Hopefully it should give you enough time to kind of figure out a backup plan. Like I said, I have a whole house generator attached to mine. So hopefully running off backup battery power will never really happen, but five hours is okay. Now I will say if you lose power and you're gonna lose power for a day because of a bad storm or something like that, five hours might only give you enough time to really start figuring out where to get another battery or some extra power or run some power extension cords from a neighbor or get a generator or something like that. But you know, at least you have some time before your whole basement is gonna flood. So looks like we're getting there and there it goes. It's running off backup power. You might be able to hear it. You can see the pipe shaking a little bit, but that backup sump pump is pumping, kind of shaking as it's pumping too. And it's bringing that water level back down, which is great. So I know it works. That's a good thing. Watchdog backup sump pump. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda out.